so hey guys how are you all doing this fine day welcome back to my channel um if this is your first time here with me thank you so much for being here and if you already subscribed to my channel you're awesomely truly welcome how are you all doing right so guys i hope spring is treating you guys well because over here we are not even sure what we are doing anymore <laughs> it's cold but yeah we have to work with it Anyway, so today we're going to be here to talk about Brian McKnight. Now, very recently, Brian McKnight, this is, is a shit show. All right. So let's go into, we're going to start all the way from the beginning. So Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. Ah, now, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me, I, I just need to get the, I want to start it from the whole, from the top. Okay, so apparently, Brian McKnight, uh, first of all, so TSR came, out, came to us with the story that Brian McKnight speaks about reading himself of evil and negativity, and this was in response to what um, a user commented about his children, okay? Now, I just want us, I, I really want us to start from the from the beginning. Now, if we all recall sometime uh last uh, two years all right. So um some years back, um it was in two thousand and twenty or so. Now this guy, this dude has had a lot of, you know, issues as a parent now brian mcknight has got four legitimate biological kids and he also has uh some more from his wife and two stepchildren okay so we see a picture of him i'm going to try and see if i can put all those pictures this is brian mcknight with uh his two stepchildren now according to brian mcknight he's a father to julia jack Kekoa Mateo and Brian Ke Kenoa Macau. Now, the first two listed are the biological children of his wife, present wife, who's a doctor. And Kekoa Mateo passed uh, on before his due date. And so, Brian McKnight makes us understand this story through um, um, an Instagram post in 2023. And then after that, they welcomed Brian Makanoa Makoa to the world. Now, what is strange about is the fact that McKnight has four biological children from a previous relationship and he doesn't mention them. So this is, I'm just keep trying to give us a backstory because I've never covered it on him because, you know, honestly, I was pretty disgusted by the whole thing. Okay. Now, and he talks about his stepchildren and newborn son as if to say, this is his new time as a father. Right now. Um, he visits his daughter, his stepdaughter at the University of California, Santa Barbara. McKnight posts a video of her on the beach house where she lives with her friends. Jules, I became a girl dad because of you and I couldn't have asked uh, for a better daughter, he said. Now, according to Essence magazine, this show, he has four biological kids from a past marriage. Brian Jr., Brianna, Brianna Nico and Clyde. Now, Brianna, his daughter, sees this and, you know, and his stepdaughter. And, I mean, you can imagine the feeling as a child, how you will feel. Now, everyone says, so it says, we're also wondering what Brian Jr. thinks about his father also naming his son. He shares with Leland Brian, uh, and there's so many Brians. Now, what happened between him and his kids? So Brian, in in 2019, August, he posts a video. I'm going to link the video here, addressing the accusations that he has abandoned his uh, children. Now, he says that he's, for the past 30 years, he's been there for his kids every step of the way until recently. He cut them off at the ages, his two sons at the ages of 30 and 27. And he says he's never missed a child support payment and never intentionally hurt them. Okay. And he's always been there for them. Now he comes into classic parental complaints about how his kids are spoiled, blah, 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 blah. I mean, that's 
every parent will tell you that their kids are spoiled. Okay. Now he's got Brian Jr. and Nico to age 25 and 22. And this, he said that they've left his home and that he's paid for apartment for two years for them and told them he gave them ultimatum, get a job. That's it. Now he also revealed that his new uh, his now wife uh, tried to get jobs for them and they refused because of drug testing. La yada yada yada. And then we also talk about his daughter, whom he said that um, he, to he, he talked about his daughter and he said things took a different turn when um, uh, Brian McKnight brought up his biological daughter and an alleged physical relationship she had with one of her older cousins. So that's the backstory. Now, again, one of the things I, like, I've never addressed this issue, but as a father and you hear that your daughter was having um, a sexual relationship with her cousin. Now, there, you, you, I mean, as a dad, the, your daughter was what, 14, according to you? And then you're an older cousin. So we're saying 18. As a father, the first thing that should be going into your head is, how do I protect my child? protecting that child and getting that child out of harm's way and understanding what led to this. All right. Now I am not one of those people that will, um, tell a parent how, if they want to disinherit or in, um, I, I don't, you know, if it's a fa it's a parent's choice to, you know, disinherit or, you know, make your kids, you know, your heritage is, it's up to you. Okay. Um, whatever claims, but then presently today, Bran McKnight tells us that his children are a product of evil. Hmm. Please. Uh, I beg you people. I beg, I beg you people in the name of God that the kids God gave you for beautiful children God gave you says you say that they are a product of evil. Hmm. Now, what is sad about this story as it is, is the fact that and so now Brian, Brian McCry, Brian, uh, Brian McKnight makes a statement in response to what a follower, not, not, not someone who knows what a follower says that the ones that keep saying, what about his other children? Some families are pure evil and can influence your own children. Nothing makes people more angered more than a man who found peace with another woman. This is a user. This is a follower. Who has no business in your home? Who does not even know the be all and end all of you? Doesn't know where you started. Doesn't even know how you began. He now gave his opinion. And then you, a father. So lastly this week, I want to big up my man right here. See, he gets it. In order to live a life that you love, you have to get rid of the evil and the negativity. Even if that evil and negativity is related we want everyone to live a life that you love. Our hashtag, that's what it means. Hashtag, I love our life. But in order to do that, you have to get rid of all that evil and negativity. There's so many angry and upset and negative people out there. We want to use our platform as a place of positivity, a positivity platform. So hopefully, I mean, who knows, next week, maybe I'll only respond to positive comments. But we'll see. We'll see you next week. Then you open your mouth and you say, and I quote, he says that um, God wasn't asking about children that are the product of sin, which these are. Two, it didn't, I didn't raise them, their mother did. Three, he says, know the whole story before quoting the Bible. Four, take your inaccurate negativity off my page. 
you say that your kids are a product of sin. Well, his wife replied, I'm going to also put up the video, uh, you know, in another one. But I just want to address this message of a man who says that the kids, the children, God gave to him out of the abundance of his heart, uh, a product of sin. You see, um, it's 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 normal. I mean, as parents, we, we, we get angry. It's okay. We can get angry with our children. But you see, one thing I learned, one thing I learned growing up, and this was because there was some kind of, um, there was some, there was something we, I know we noticed, uh, something like that in the family, in our extended family dynamics was the use of hurtful and hateful words on your children because you're angry. You have parents who will say their kids are from the devil. I wish it was you that died. I wish I never had you. I would destroy you. I would do this. You open your mouth as a parent and you open your mouth and you create this kind of rhetoric on your kids. Meanwhile, remember that the Bible says that honor thy mother and thy father so that your days might be long. The same Bible says that parents do not do things that will make your children said that will frustrate them. It's there. He said, be mindful. He said, yes, honor them. And he says, children, listen to your parents at the same, your father and your mother. And he also says that never, that we should not um, dishonor them. You see, one thing I know about the word of God is that it does not just give half fruits. It comes from the left and the right to make a balance. So which means that, and it says that children understand and know that your parents are the representation of God on earth. They are your guardian. I mean, it's simple. But knowing that your, these are your kids, you had four kids from, by the same woman. Some way, those four children, you loved them, you carried them, you nourished them, four of them. And then you opened your mouth to destroy and curse the product of your love. You see, sometimes we never understand the kind of damage we do. We don't understand how far reaching we carry we can carry out generational curses to open your mouth and say to your children to your that your children are a product of sin you see i understand and i know that there are so many ways Brian McKnight can deal with this issue without making it a public, without making it come out in a public knowledge and public space from your children, taking you as you, you to court for you to openly disinherit your kids, for you to open your mouth and say that your children are products of sin, for you to now decide that you are done for you to open and go the lengths you have gone. And I will say this to the woman he's married to today. I will, I pray. I pray for the sake that posterity does not judge you because you keep mute. You keep mute and you keep quiet. And because you are enjoying, it's your turn. You're enjoying, you're having fun, right? Let me tell you something. If as a woman, you're married to a man, and this is what I said in one previous video, I'm going to put that video here. Do not marry a man. Do not have anything to do with a man that has a tumultuous relationship history. She sits down there. Oh, I got two stepdaughters, blah, 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 blah. And I've had one more. And you feel that your life is golden. And you sit there. You fold your arms and you allow the man you say you love and you're married to dish out this level of venom on his own children and his ex. And it doesn't bother you. You're not phased. Nothing, nothing is happening. You, you feel okay. You feel all right. My dear, let me tell you something. 
every dog has his day if the fan blows here today another day the fan will stop it will blow another place what am i trying to say i'm saying that it's just a matter of time become before you become the victim you will now begin to see and smell these roses this pungent roses that is being dish, dished out to his to his other kids you have sat down and s said oh it's not my business one day it will be your business because it's you see marriage is not all rosy i don't know where people get the ideology i think i'm going to be blaming all the cinderellas and all the swan princess stories we kept reading i'm going to blame them they caused all this marriage is not a bed of roses it's hard and so i'm um, at a point i know that you know the the that the the butterflies and all those things will, will fall there are things that are not to be said and you don't say them because you don't you so that you will not be judged god will not judge you because for this for these these souls for these beautiful souls we bring to life to earth he will ask we account for them you will account for them the four i gave you what did you do with them how did you take care of them what did you teach them what do they know because again the children are exhibiting something and that is why in alibo where we come where i come from there is something we say before in aludi before ana aluwa je juese i'm going to put the translation here don't worry about it juese because there are sometimes there are families that have issues that are unresolved that are, that is going on for generations of generations of generations and he's still there and nothing there is no there is and you know there are certain the problems are there you see it playing out you keep on asking the question what the hell is going on we have so many reasons to always ask that question you need to find out because this lady has now entered there believing that she's the one who is the landlady in charge now this is why you do not follow a man or date a man that's got a tumultuous relationship history history has it and so i believe that whatever is going on with brian mcknight is not ordinary i think that this is a man who is looking to remove himself from every form of responsibility for whatever thing i mean because again you see in the issue of conflict it's one thing that is always very important is being able to take accountability there is nobody who is to blame in total there must have been some level of something that was dished out that caused the reaction that we have today and so accountability is key and we have not seen or heard him take accountability all he has all uh, always come out to talk about is how he has done this how he has done that there are children that despite the fact that their parents may be doing all and sundry for them but they still do not like them because there is something else that is there if for everything you give your children there is a curse that comes be with, with it if for everything you do for them there is a sort of abuse and insult that he is being healed and there's a sort of letdown and putting down why do you think they want to why would you think that they want to always have this cordial happy go lucky relationship with you you see sometimes when parents have money they substitute money for love there is a difference because at a time you will realize that your money means jack to your kids it doesn't mean anything to them at a point it will mean nothing to them because there is a part of your life that is, is missing from theirs the part that says i love you the part that says i am your friend at this time tell me whatever it is that is going on with you i am your confidence let me hear you let me listen to you i am your ride or die i am your protector 
there is a time where most of this part of your life, the children don't even know who you are. Because what you did was you substituted money for love. I don't know. But what I'm saying here is there are better ways to have handled this issue than what we see playing out. From the get-go, from the moment you spoke about the fact that your child was in an incestuous relationship. Come on. And you said older cousin. So somebody was vulnerable here. And as a family unit, you discuss, you, you solve the problem and take action and protect her. I've said this so many times. Women, we need to be very careful. We need to be careful. There are some women that will sit down. I want to talk back to the, to the, there are some women that will sit down. You know that your ex, the, the ex of the man you're married to, is doing things that are, as, even as a, as a woman, you know it's, it's hard. Let's use Alicia Keys as an example. When Swiss Beats was being nasty to his ex, she's the glue that brought them together. What is your job other than a peacemaker? What do you do at that point? Rather than be a peacemaker, that is what you should do. Make that peace. If that man cannot find that peace, be that binder. Be that peace. Bring them together. I have always known that it does not bode well that you live in a fam in a family unit where there's so much conflict and hatred and animosity and cantankerousness it doesn't bode well for your state of mind for the family unit it doesn't bode well like i said my extended family dynamic i noticed it and it was a vow i made to myself and i remember i called my siblings together and i said whatever happens in our, you know, in our, whatever happens amongst us, we never ever, ever decide that we want to create this kind of animosity amongst ourselves. It's not done. Whatever happens, I can quarrel with my brother, I can quarrel with my sister, and it's not a problem, but it doesn't last. Where you stay in a family unit, where you're looking at a family unit, and then brother and sister have not spoken to themselves for a long time. It was weird to me. I've seen it. I've noticed it. And it's not just, and I'm not just speaking because it's my family. I've seen it in other families as well. I've seen it in the family of a boy, uh, an ex I was with. I saw it and I'm like, this is super. I couldn't, I knew that I would wilt in such a dynamic. And I made sure. I said, it cannot happen. Even with my child. Sometimes, you know, I scold him. We scold, you know, I mean, it's normal. Parents, you scold your kids. And, you know, he's upset. And he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he says, mommy, good morning. Usually, he, you will say, mommy, good morning, or mommy, uh, you know, with a kiss. And then they're like, mm -hmm, good morning. And I'm like, I didn't hear you, <laughs> you know. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very intentional about it. I'm like, okay, where is my kiss? And we do our kiss. Mwah, mwah, yes, okay. How are you? Did you sleep well? It's fine. It's okay. Because you got what love has to trump it all to for your child to understand that everything is done is done out of love. It's okay to correct them. It's okay to spank them. But what is not okay is to use very, very strong, hateful insulting words on them because it tells on their persona it tells on who they are it disturbs them in their minds in their spirits it becomes an anvil an albatross on them we have kids who have made those statements I, I read one post the other day where the girl said her mom wished that she was the one who died rather than her sister i've i've seen so many and then when they get old, you expect these kids to want to be around you, be close to you, you know, hug you, kiss you like nothing happened. But you forget. You forget that you have caused most likely irreparable damage. Because like it or not, it's your father, it's your mother. 
and there is a link and there is a something that binds you there is something that holds you that is stronger and so no matter this is what i keep telling you I say no matter how you say i have forgotten or i don't care and i don't want to know nah there is still hurt for you to be able to still be talking about it today there is still so much pain for you brian mcknight to still be talking about it today there is still a lot of pain so do not think that you're over it and it's obvious because your kids are not over it there is still a lot of pain there and there's so much healing to be done and so brian mcknight you are the father you're the adult here because they remain your children at this point gets we are not in it's not about we we don't need to know whatever it is you're doing what we want is what I am telling you to do is go and bring your family together because that is your role as a father. Bring your children together and get them. Make them understand that you love them. Make them understand that this is over and done with. Make them understand that it's enough. And this is you, their fathers, putting your foot down, ask their father and telling them, I love you, whether you, ha you get my money or not, and play your role as a father. Because, get this, you never grow up to your parents. And so whatever you think that you're doing, I will tell you categorically, you're doing it wrong. So wrong. To open your mouth and call your own offspring evil. You only just called yourself the same thing, evil. And on this note, guys, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Do not fail to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And do not fail to follow me on all my social media networks. It's all Julia Style Glam, except um, Twitter. That's Julia Style. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.